Eyewitness News is working new details now on a hazmat situation in the capital city. We first told you as breaking news on Eyewitness News at noon. At that time, crews were just gaining control of an ammonia leak in the area of Baker and Enfield Streets. Now at 6, we know more about what forced the evacuations of several buildings. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live in Providence now with the new details tonight. Mike, workers in an industrial area here in Providence, not far from Allen's Avenue, started their day with a smelly and scary surprise, an ammonia leak. Firefighters got the call just before 8 o'clock this morning, a delivery of a 150-pound tank of ammonia to a company here on Baker Street in Providence went dangerously wrong. And what happened was is when they went to hook it up to the system that they have inside there, there was a uh, malfunction, and we, we don't know exactly what the cause was, was of the malfunction, but we know that we have a very small leak of anhydrous ammonia inside the plant. Firefighters evacuated both the building where the ammonia was delivered and several buildings nearby just to make sure the ammonia didn't spread to neighboring buildings through their ventilation systems. As soon as the firefighters got here, what they did was they evacuated everybody that could potentially be exposed to the ammonia. So now we've eliminated the life hazard that's involved and eliminated any possible ability of getting anybody injured. So now what it is is just go in there make sure we stop the leak. We have had zero injuries due to this incident. And our number one priority is to keep it that way, that we don't have any injuries whatsoever. Within a few hours, firefighters were able to stop the leak. So tonight, no injuries and no leak. Live at the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.